maintaining that uh, grateful attitude so that your face is more smiling and frowning is critical for looking beautiful for the moment. contact with you or learn from you a little bit more well let me again show my book yes. uh, radiant skin from the inside out yeah um, there's a lot of information here you don't need to read the whole book you can just read chapters yeah. related to your own issues and then go back and look mm -hmm. at the other the other places that are secondarily involved in your in your issue um, for a small amount of money, less than the copay in the United States, mm -hmm. you can have the book from Amazon. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. available as a uh, as as a book like this, or it's available as a download. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if I can show you the skin of the earth while we're doing this. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of things. This is um, this is a little diagram here, a cartoon about the um, the relationship between the skin of the earth and our own skin. Um, and it's got some other diagrams that go into the immunology mm. um, in a very specific way so that you understand which things you need to emphasize and which things you don't as you're making changes. Mm. And that's very important mm. as well. So um, you can also look at my website, holisticdermatology.com, with an H. I have a lot of resources on there for you. Yeah. And um, for those people who are highly motivated and really need my help mm -hmm. and have been to a dermatologist and gotten a diagnosis and have not been able to find the kind of answers they want, um, I can be reached through my website to, uh, to see whether you're in interested in having a coaching consultation. Mm -hmm. uh, although I hope most of you can find your your help through the book and, yeah. and and other resources, I am available for people with difficult issues That's who, who uh, are uh, able to make changes in their life and pay for the, mm. the time that mm. I need to spend. That's right. But I require a, a lot of exchange of information mm. so that I get the basics. Usually people who come to me have already seen a dermatologist or, or many mm. and have mm. a diagnosis, they have biopsy results. Mm -hmm. and they are looking for a different way to approach this. They may have seen other kinds of naturopaths and such and they've gotten other types of testing and so I put all this into the hopper yeah. over here <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know and I've asked them appropriate questions to to get a closer idea about what's going on mm -hmm. and then make recommendations about new about dietary changes mm -hmm. and um, supplements that they might use. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are using something that's a, f a fad and, yes. and has helped some people, like uh, kombucha, for instance. Okay, yeah. And so, and they're treating a condition that involves various kinds of yeast issues, mm -hmm. and they're, in, in essence, on one hand treating it, on the other hand defeating it, mm -hmm. so they've got one foot on the gas pedal and one foot on the brake and they're wondering why they're not getting better. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's little things like that that I can clear up. Mm -hmm. um, and when you see fads like that coming out, kombucha or something like you know, yeah. prebiotics, probiotics now, well, things. I use a lot of pre uh, probiotics and I'm more mm -hmm. and more prebiotics. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that it, it depends upon the history of the individual mm -hmm. and what has been going on with them mm -hmm. because um, if they got worse after they took antibiotics, you know, not a bad chance that there was something to do with overgrowth of yeast in the intestines. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, there are a lot of pieces of information like that. If that's the case, then I'm not so big on the kombucha, mm. which has yeast in it. Yeah. <laughs>